Good evening. Though it's been three years since his senseless murder, Nipsey Hussle is still a key figure in Los Angeles. And we sat down with one of his friends and colleagues to talk about his legacy. You know what it is. It's victory lap. It's Real 92.3 Homegrown. DJ Head of 92.3 Homegrown Radio is playing all of Nipsey Hussle's music Thursday night. Okay. Honoring Grammy Award winning rapper Nipsey Hussle, who was shot and killed exactly three years ago outside of his clothing store in South Central. A day DJ Head remembers vividly. I remember when this on this day, um, was it three years ago, I sat right here and I was crying and I was talking to the city. DJ Head says his friend Nipsey was more than a talented rapper. You have book nerd nip where me and him would talk about books to read right then you have gangster nip who would be in the streets with his homies then you have performer nip then you have like then you have amazing father nip i know that man to be an, an, an amazing father nipsey was on homegrown radio several times talking to dj head and chuck dizzle even when nipsey was exhausted memories they both cherish I always appreciate the fact that he made that moment just to, you know, saying show love. But that was the kind of person he was. You know, you can't take that that kind of spirit away from anybody. He always made time for the people he rocked with, especially like anybody, I mean, everybody in general, but especially like us. DJ and, Head says the community is still reeling from the loss, but says Nipsey remains an integral part of LA culture. It just seems like he is the type of person that lives on forever. Correct, Tupac of this generation. I think that. When you look at somebody like Nipsey, right, as somebody as complex as that, and then it's not even just about who they were in the flesh, it's also about who they are now. Now Nipsey is remembered for his love of his family, his philanthropy, and his dedication to reviving his community with his many businesses like The Marathon, a store he proudly talked about in an interview before his passing. We playing a long game. We don't want the money to stop when we go. When we can't work no more, we wanted to outlive us. We wanted to be generational. And on the third anniversary of his death, Nipsey's legacy still holds strong in Los Angeles. I think when people remember Nipsey, I would like them to reach beyond the music because I, that was big. That was important to him. It was about brand. It was about legacy. It was about longevity. It was about respect. And Nipsey's family plans to open another marathon store in his honor. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.